We recognize China is an extremely important and growing economy, a significant player on the world stage. Uh, we look forward to continuing to trade with China, but we need uh, the Chinese authorities to understand that when it comes to the rule of law, Canada and an awful lot of other countries will stand firm. As a rift between Ottawa and Beijing widens, sparked by Canada's arrest of Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou and the subsequent arrest, detainment of two Canadians, there are new worries about how the diplomatic tensions are affecting business ties between the two countries. China is Canada's third largest trading partner, and with billions of investment dollars at stake, the business community is getting worried. Katie Simpson on how they're managing the uncertainty. When it comes to products this country is known for, this is about as Canadian as it gets. Producers send maple syrup all around the world, and it's becoming more popular in China. Any exporting company has to really consider being in Asia in general, because this is where the growing, um, you know, the buying power is. Citadel is one of Canada's largest syrup exporters. It won't reveal how much it ships to China for competitive reasons, but it hopes to increase sales to Chinese customers by 500% over the next five years. The company is closely following the diplomatic dispute between Ottawa and Beijing. And while it hasn't hurt business yet, there is anxiety the hit could come. If it uh, mm -hmm. continues and if it goes bad, Obviously, uh, we anticipate that uh, there, there could be some commercial uh, setbacks. A senior business source tells CBC News Canadian corporate leaders are in panic mode, worried prospective deals with Beijing are at risk. The government is keeping them updated, but it can't offer any assurances that China is through retaliating. The bottom line is that businesses hate uncertainty. The president of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce is careful to choose his words. I'm not aware of, of any business that has said uh, we have decided to pull out of China as a consequence, uh, but there's no question that people are looking more carefully than they would normally and, and examining whether this is the appropriate time to be, be taking further steps. That's the question for Citadel. Managers have plans to travel to Shanghai for a food show in May. If the continu uh, situation continues to uh, decay, you know, and uh, we'll see if it's appropriate to go. There's very little chance this dispute will be resolved by spring, which means Citadel and other Canadian companies have some tough choices ahead. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa.